Okay, this project is about metaphors near the end of life. And I'm particularly interested in that because of previous research I've done over a number of years. So how do people talk about um, dying and the end of life experience? And it seems to me that in um, times past, particularly a few decades ago, they were mostly militaristic metaphors. So they were talking about battling cancer and fighting to the end. And it feels that we've shifted somewhat now to journey metaphors. So we talk about pathways and um, uh, the journey of illness uh, as though we were going on a, a, a really nice cruise or somewhere exciting. Of course, that is how some people experience an illness, but not everybody. And I think this particular project allows a number of different perspectives to be looked at in, uh, in relation to language. I'm involved in this project because it's a really good opportunity to do interdisciplinary research with colleagues who come from English, from computing. Um, backgrounds that I very much respect but know very little about, so it's a, a new experience for me. Uh, I'm a health psychologist uh, and a long time ago I, I was a, a registered nurse. So hopefully uh, I can bring perspectives that will contribute to the project, particularly perspectives drawn from health psychology and my areas of interest in health psychology are coping with late stage illness and uh, dying and end of life and both from the patient's perspectives and family members. So that's why I'm involved, to uh, try and contribute to a team but also to learn a lot myself. My role on the project is to be uh, the expert on death and dying. Uh, and that's something that uh, hopefully I can contribute to the interpretation of the findings um, and making sure that they get um, disseminated in a way that is useful for people both in practice but also those developing policy. The other things hopefully I've been able to contribute to the project is around recruitment and in the research design. I remember a lot of meetings over some cappuccinos um, as we developed and thrashed out the ideas around the project. Uh, clearly, I'm not an expert in linguistics uh, and in English, but it, it, I can bring what is current perspectives and current understandings of the discourses around death and dying in, in uh, British society, but also internationally. So the big things that I hope I will be able to produce is guidance in the, dis the dissemination and in the interpretation of findings. In terms of what I will get out, I think we can divide that into a number of different ways. In terms of being part of a really interesting team, I get out personally enjoyment and fun and pleasure in, uh, in meeting with colleagues who I haven't worked with before. So that's uh, a new thing for me and it's always good at all stages of your career to do new things and that's, that's a great pleasure. But also what I hope to get out is um, a contribution to science but also to policy and practice development, particularly in public understandings and health professionals' understandings. The, the discourse of journey is very, very prevalent in UK policy and in practice, uh, health professional practice in the UK. And I think it's used very uncritically. And so I think if this project can start to uh, offer a bit more of a critique of that and understand that there's a number of different metaphors in use, that would be something that I would really enjoy being part of.